much. Thank you. A wise man once said that if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. One of the things I heard on this campaign is that politicians in Washington just aren't listening to us anymore. That is why I went out and I met with you. I held town hall meetings. I went into restaurants and bars. I toured businesses. And I reached out to so many people all across the 11th district. You talked and I listened. When you... When you, the people of Luzerne County, told me that you didn't want the government to take over your health care, I listened. When you, the people of Lackawanna County, told me that you were tired of the out-of-control government spending, I listened. When you, the people of Monroe County, told me that you wanted good, local, family-sustaining family jobs, I listened. And when you, the people of Columbia County and the people of Carbon County, told me that you just want a congressman who will represent you and work on projects that are important in your counties, I listen. Yes, my friends, yes, my friends, I heard you. Tonight proves that you heard me. Now Washington will hear us. For months now, I've been saying that this isn't my campaign. This is our campaign. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, this is our victory. Thousands of you went to the polls today and put your party aside. You put our district first. You put America first. You put our children and grandchildren first. Our country is at a crossroads, and here in northeastern Pennsylvania, and all across the United States tonight, the people are sending a message that's loud and clear. We want our country back. In just a few months, in just a few months, I'm going to be a member of one of the largest freshman classes in congressional history. And starting tomorrow, and starting tomorrow, I'm going to work very hard for each and every one of you because we have so much work to be done. I want to thank my beautiful family who's here with me tonight, my wife Mary Grace. My daughter Hurricane Grace. April and my new son-in-law Matt. Kelly, Lindsay, my beautiful wife, Mary Grace, and yes, Gabriel Lewis. I want to thank my staff. For 10 months, we have worked so hard, and it hasn't been easy. It's been uphill, and there have been many times when, uh, when it was easy to get disgusted and give up. But I, I have one of the best staffs that anybody could have had in a congressional race. I want to thank Vince Galpo, Lance Stange, Sean Kelly, Kristen Nash, Katie Freeman. County coordinators in each and every county, all of the volunteers who have worked so hard. I said all along, I could never do this without all the people who have supported me along the way, who encouraged me when I was tired, who told me that we needed you, you had to keep going. And this is truly a victory for everyone. Now I know I have some big shoes to fill here in this district. 
Congressman Kanjorski and his staff are to be commended for the service they provided their constituents for more than two and a half decades. Last week, a television reporter called the three campaigns between me and Congressman Kanjorski the political grudge match of the decade. Now, I'm not sure about that, but I do know we've had some spirited battles over the years. But let me say this to Congressman Kanjorski. Thank you, Congressman, for your service to our district. You've dedicated your life to public service and you've left your mark on Northeastern Pennsylvania. On behalf of my supporters, I thank you and good luck. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight is a good night for Northeastern Pennsylvania and for America. Because I'm going to Washington to fight for us. Starting in January, we're going to do things differently in Congress. We're going to stop the out-of-control spending we've seen for the last four years. Yeah. We're not going to spend more than we make. We're going to read the bills before we vote on them. Yeah. And we're going to let the people read the bills before we vote on them, too. Yeah. And most importantly, we're going to create jobs here in Northeastern Pennsylvania. We're going to put the people back to work again. We're going to empower small business so they could start hiring again. We're going to put this country back on the right track. We're going to make our country secure. We're going to restore the rightful place of the United States of America in the world. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight isn't about me. It's about us. I want to thank you for your support and for the confidence you would have in me. I promise I will never embarrass you. I will never disappoint you. And I will never let you down. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America.